We are running. Close your eyes for a moment, will you please? And let's just think about this day. Can you just sometimes wake up in the morning and, and instead of rushing into your to-do list and rushing into what you have to get done and rushing into how you're going to handle this and handle that, just stop and embrace that you are a sacred being. Showing up and rolling the dice and whatever happens, happens? Or taking a couple hours in the morning and designing how you want your life to be in relationship to your one month, one year, five year, 10 year goals. I think what Life School and Ticket ultimately is, is our gift and ability to choose every single day and moment. Who are we? Who are we going to be? How will we show up? How will we interact with the world? What will we chase? What will we go for? How will we serve? We get to choose that. Choice is life's golden ticket. But when you wake up on a regular basis with your spiritual practice and say in substance, this is a new day, this is a new moment, everything that is within me is bigger than anything that's ever been created thus far, let it rise up and with a great tsunami of excellence and joy, take over my existence and my entire life. I feel like every day is a second chance. There's not two as in second. There's perennial, there's infinity of second chances. This is a new morning. This is a new day. This is a new beginning. This moment is a fresh starting point, a new beginning for the unfoldment of your life. So when you wake up, and you say, this is a fresh starting point, it's a new day, it's a new moment, new instant. Everything that has gone on previously has nothing on me. I'm free in this moment. You begin to create a frequency. More than what can be seen becomes a signal. Trust that you are capable. Trust that things will get better. Trust that this too shall pass. Trust that whatever is here, not only has been put here, but is, it is something that you can deal with. If you survive it, then there was a reason. You learn something, you develop something, you will get better over time, even if right now it sucks, even if it's been painful, even if you're sad about it. So get out there and take control of your world by taking control of yourself. Begin to think about yourself in a new way. Begin to feel the gratitude that you have for the things that are already in your life. Begin to feel gratitude for the things that you wanna create in your life. Begin to visualize yourself doing the things that you love to do. You see, when you become intentional in your life, you don't accept life, you make life. And the moment that you're intentional about what you're going to do, and you're committed to what you're going to do. This is, this is where everything begins to change in your life. So a life of greatness, what does that mean to me? It means each day I wake up and I live intentionally so that each day I feel like I'm alive and vibrant and living. I take challenges, I take risks. I'm living my own life. Each day I feel like I'm loving and connecting or doing something through my heart. Each day I feel like I'm doing something that matters, something that helps other people, that makes a contribution. You never do anything right. It's all your fault. How often have you said this to yourself? You are wonderful. I love you. How often do you tell yourself this? This is me in my new day, in this good morning, allowing myself more than ever before to be in the receptive mode the receptive mode of everything that I've intended, everything that I've asked for, everything that I've put into the vortex, all that I've become. Full alignment with all that I have become. You want to ask every day, how can I grow? So at the end of that day, you're not the same person that got out of bed. 
You've had an insight. You've had a revelation. You've practiced something new. You've tried something new so that you have become more yourself. How can I grow today? I don't want to be the same person 365 days from today. Everybody has to start somewhere. It starts with you taking responsibility for you and saying, hey, I got to go out and get one little skill at a time. I got to man up, woman up. Don't get in the habit of being lazy. Don't get in the habit of not doing anything and thinking that it's okay to just, you know, put a board here and visualize there and talk about what you wanted as if you've received it. That's not enough. You need to get more motivated to really attain what you want. Keep moving. Keep pushing yourself forward. Otherwise, you become stagnant. And when you're stagnant in life, when you've got no momentum in life, nothing happens. Do something. Do something that recalibrates your perspective on what is actually going on here. You can make a decision today, and if you don't reinforce it tomorrow, you will not have it. Somebody else will have it. Somebody going to get the prosperity. The question is, will it be you? You can, you can, keep trying, don't give up. If you still have belief in your heart after all the hardships you've had in your life, I'll tell you, it's so much easier to believe in yourself and to love yourself because you'll give yourself credit. But if you won't give yourself credit, man, ain't nobody gonna be able to do it for you. Every aspect of your life can be full to overflowing. The tremendous love, tremendous abundance, Tremendous health, it's yours already, but we have to open up the door and use the key. Did you live your life, not someone else's life, not the parent's life, not your spouse's life, not your team's life, not your obligation's life, did you live your life? Because you got one shot at it, so did you show up and do well? Friends, don't let one disappointment, one loss, one bad break cause you to settle. We all go through things we don't understand. Life doesn't always make sense. The key is you have to pass through the place of your greatest pain. If you get knocked down, bounce up. If somebody next to you gets knocked down, help them up. Look inside yourself and find that desire. Go win big. And because we're always looking back, reliving the negative, we end up carrying around all this baggage that weighs us down. One of the best things we can learn to do is drop it, let it go. The best part of your life is right up in front of you. It's a beautiful day while you're singing, nothing matters to you. The smile is on. You have within you what it'll take for you to go do something great in your life. But you got to get yourself in a positive cocoon where you make some fundamental decisions in your life. You're a force of nature. You're somebody great. You were put on this earth to make a difference. And I'm telling you that the way that you were made, the way that you are now, is beautiful or handsome and that you're enough and that once you can finally acknowledge the fact that you're enough, that you're beautiful and gifted and special and made in the image of this higher place, right? That once you can acknowledge that, you're going to be very, very happy. All your confidence, all your happiness, all the things you want to achieve in your life come from when you understand that you are made perfect the way you are. doesn't mean we don't want to improve things in our life and chase the next version of us and all that, but the you that exists now is enough and that you have everything within you right now to make your dreams happen, to be happy. Seize the moment. It, it, enjoy the moment. Minister in the moment. Do it now. D don't, don't somehow think that tomorrow is going to, to be the time when you go. I walk on the street all people are passing by it's a great day nobody even cares that i've got big smile on my side i talk to my
First thing in the morning and last thing in the evening, I want you to look into your eyes and say, I love you. I really love you. And I accept you exactly as you are. It can be tough at first, but if you stick with it, in a short time, this affirmation will be true for you. We even have to remove at some point, sometimes, our own stupid thoughts, our own bad actions, our own poor habits. And we have to start with the fact that whether you call it the universe, luck, chance, God, evolution, spirit, whatever you call it, you've been blessed with breath. That you are alive right now, the odds of that is so extraordinarily rare that I really believe loving ourselves starts from a place of reverence for life. This is a good day. This is a new beginning. Change the way we think. We have got to change the way we function. 